Hey y'all, this is Karen with RenovatedFaith.com and this week on the blog, I'm showing you my best tips for hanging gallery style wall art. I'm gonna show you how to hang it up in the fastest, easiest way possible, also with the fewest holes in the wall and some of those tips even involve using toothpaste. Also this week, I'm giving you free access to these six printables. Uh, you can print these out on the blog by subscribing to the weekly email. And you can uh, pick from this set with a navy background and white botanicals, or you can pick from the other set that has a white background and blue botanicals. All of them are free by just subscribing to the website. I will also show you how to make this faux wall art rail. You might have seen something similar in PotteryBar.com. And the reason I say faux art rail is because it's so easy to add this to any existing wall art that you already have because it's not load bearing. I'm just adding it to, and these chains just fall right behind the frames. So you can learn that from this week's post, how to hang wall art so it's straight, even, and to do that quickly with as few holes as possible. And you get access to all my free printables in either navy or in a white background. Before we get started, it's important to hang your wall art the right height. For gallery wall art, the center should be about 57 to 61 inches from the floor. Step one is to simply mark your midpoint on the wall with a pencil. Now mark one inch down from the midpoint you already marked and that'll give you the very top edge of your bottom row. You're going to put a straight edge on the wall and make sure that your line that you're about to mark is level. Simply make a couple dashes on top of the straight edge so you'll know where to put your painter's tape to get a level line. Add your painter's tape in line with the dashes and then you're going to do the same with the top row. Now you can use craft paper to create some cutouts that we will tape to the wall so that we can better arrange our wall art without making extra holes in the walls. Simply trace six of them, cut them out, and tape them on the wall. But be sure to measure two inches between each frame so that they're all spaced evenly. After adding all the craft paper pieces to the wall, take a step back and make sure they're perfectly straight. Readjust as needed. So this is the part where we use a paint stick and toothpaste to better help us hang our wall art on the wall evenly. But before we do that, if your frame has two hangers on the back, add a piece of wire and that will make it so much easier to hang on the wall. To make a paint stick hanging tool, simply take a paint stir stick and screw in a screw about an inch from the end. You'll use one end to hang the wire on and the other end to dab some toothpaste. Line up your frame with the craft paper cutout and push it against the wall. When you pull it away, you'll see a dab of toothpaste that was left from the screw. Now add a nail over the dab of toothpaste. Now 
If your frame has just one center hanger on the back, dab on some toothpaste, press it against the wall, and then add your nail. I like to hang my pictures over the craft paper just to make sure that everything's straight. If any of your pictures aren't straight, you can slightly tap the nail in any direction to have it line up with the craft paper. Now I'm going to show you how to add a picture rail over your wall art so that it looks like it's hanging by chains. Step one is to hang your wall art as normal. Next, cut a 1x3 so it's about 6 inches longer than your wall art length. Next, add hangers to the back of the piece of wood. See renovatedfaith.com for a complete list of supplies. Now spray paint your binder ring so that they match the chain that's on the supply list. The next step is to stain your rail. I'm using a faux stain so that I could exactly match the frames. You can see the full tutorial for a faux stain at renovatedfaith.com. Here I am just putting on the base coat. Make a level line with painter's tape four to six inches above your gallery wall art. At this point, I like to hang up the rail before putting the hooks on so I can mark exactly where I want each hook to go. Next, add your hooks where you already marked them to go. Check the blog post to get hooks that are the perfect length for this project. Add your rail to the wall one last time and then add all of your gallery wall art underneath. Now cut your chains to the right length and then add each chain to each hook. After you've done that, you can slide the chains behind the pictures. To even make it look more so that the pictures are hanging from the chains, you can extend the nails out from the wall a little bit and hang the pictures on the end of the head of the nail. That'll make the pictures not completely flush with the wall and make them look more so like they're hanging from the chains. Here I'm just showing you how the chains look from behind the wall art. If you look at the Pottery Barn version, the chains extend beneath the bottom row and you can certainly do that too. Now you are completely done with your faux art rail. As you can see, this version of the art rail is not load bearing, but if you wanna know how to make an art rail that is supporting all the frames, you can see that in the blog post at renovatedfaith.com. Be sure to check out the posts at renovatedfaith.com for all the details for these tutorials. And if you need a little bit of extra encouragement this week, also look for the Renovate Your Faith devotionals at the end of each post.